Today we're talking Tom Ford. Today we're talking Tom Ford Rose Tees. I have it on my eyes now with a full face of Tom Ford, so let's get into it. Hey everyone, today is going to be a relatively short video. We just got the Tom Ford Rose Tees to review today. I do want to say that I do have a full face of Tom Ford on. I have the Tom Ford uh, Rose Iris highlighter on, which I'm still absolutely loving. I did my review. Love it. It's illuminating. It doesn't accentuate texture. It's a beautiful pinky icy shade. Goes on really smoothly. I don't have a shade exactly like it. It's expensive, but I do really, really like it. Uh, the lipstick is in Intimate Rose. This is the Satin Matte. I'm really enjoying this color. I really like this shade far more than I thought I would. It is a rosy pinkish shade, but it has enough brown to it, has enough depth to it that it's not pink. Like, you know, like Barbie pink or T-Rose pink. It's, it's just a really, it's a warmish pink. <laughs> uh, and it works really well on me. And the satin matte I'm actually really enjoying. And again, I think he might have, I think Tom Ford tweaked the formula a little bit because it does feel different to me, but it could just be me, but I think, I think the formula has been tweaked. So yeah, really liking those two products. I do have on Tom Ford blush. I'll make sure all the details are down below. Now, the eyeshadow. Let's just get to it. This is Rose Tees. Now, Rose Tees says Tom Ford Eye Color Quad. 0.35 ounces, 10 grams, made in Italy. I picked this up from Rihanna. You can order from her um, at Nordstrom's. And of course, it's online everywhere, and I'll have links down below. It is in a black uh, package box uh, with the white um, cover and then it's got the white packaging with the black. I do like the white and black packaging. I think it's very striking looking. I looked at the palette and I can tell you, I asked all of you on Instagram whether you're interested in having me pick this up because I was like, it's pink. I'm not gonna like it. This is the quad. These are all mattes. It's not the creme formula. It's powdery formula. It's like silk, I will say that. The, the, the It's very powdery, um, eyeshadow flying everywhere, but it is very silky and it swatches really well. I'll have the swatches go up on my hand. Really, a, they I didn't have any patchiness. I didn't have, they're, they're pigmented in the, in the sense of they're pigmented enough for the shades that they are. Um, they're silky smooth. Nothing bad about any of that. Um, I do have a video of me putting this look together and you can see me, you know, create the look. And I will tell you, this happens a lot where, and don't get me wrong, I am not here, to, I am not here tuning my own horn doing that. I did such a good job that it actually worked out. It's not, it's not that. It's that I have, I have worked with makeup for a very long time. So I, I you know, I'm at least proficient. So I can make, I can make something I don't particularly like or something that's not particularly great uh, product look at least decent and I and I do have a lot of great brushes that help me do that don't get me wrong it's not, it's not just I mean it's not because I'm just like uber talented it's because I invest in really great brushes and I've just been practicing for a really long time so I think the look is actually really really nice and I actually really like what I ended up doing like I, I like the monochromatic nature of the lips and the eye and the cheeks are pink and I think it actually looks very flattering However, <laughs> I'm also like, eh, I mean, I, you know, I don't know what to say. It, it's, it's, it's not that I don't think the look ended up nicely because I actually, like I said, I, I do. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really good on the eye. And I think with this Intimate Rose lipstick and the Tom Ford blush, and I actually was like, wow, this is a, a flattering look on me, which is surprising because I don't usually like pink, and, but I would wear this and I actually think it looks great. But it, it it's not, um, it's not special. Like it's, it's very powdery, silky smooth formula, but for the prices that we're paying for Tom Ford, again, I've said this before, I just sort of have this higher, like, I don't know. I just feel like there should be more. I don't know what it is. It's just, if this was like $20, I'd be like, wow, this is outstanding. But since it's not, I'm kind of like, it's fine. Uh, the packaging is beautiful. Like I really, I like this white and black 
like like with the black on the inside and the white. It's kind of how I would like a house to be, like, you know, all white siding and then the black windows. I just, I love that look. So I love, I think this is gorgeous. Um, for the packaging, I just think it's great. Uh, and I, I really, again, I, I, I keep, I know I'm just like muttering here, but I don't know how to explain it. Like, I think it looks really nice and I think the color story is pretty and I think the formula is a silky powdery formula. But, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can say this. So I had Insolent Rose, which is the other one that came out with this in this packaging, but it's not, Insolent Rose is not new. And I went back and looked at Insolent Rose and it was, again, it was fine. It was pretty. I like this more than Insolent Rose. I will say that. I, I, I on me, anyway, I do like it more. And an all matte... I think it looks nice, but to do this, to get it to look like this, and you'll see, I like I said, I recorded it. I put, let me show you just really quickly before it goes into the video, just in case, you know, you, you want a little bit of descriptor here. It, it, it actually wasn't as easy to get this type of look, demarcation of the look. So I took this shade and used it like a transition shade. I used this in the brow. I used this on the lid. And then I use this to build out the crease and make it more uh, dynamic. And then I pulled it out and I use that under the uh, lower lash line as well. Then I went back in, used this on top of the eyelid again, and then use this and put it on the inner corner in like all back over the eye so that it would look lighter. So it took several different steps to get this. If you just use the four shades, um, if you don't try to build with this one, I, 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 they kind of blends a little bit into one another. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, no further ado, let's watch. Let's watch the application of the eyeshadow. So, as you can see, I start with that like pinkier shade. Uh, that's the pinkish shade in here, and build that out through the transition. And when you look back at the swatches, which I'll show you at the end again. Um, you'll see that the shades in here, although rose teas, they're really not rosy, which is actually why I like it. But I think a lot of people who are going to be like, oh, I was thinking like rose, like pink. It's not really. I mean, yes, there's a, depending on how you define rose, roses can come in all colors. Let's face it. Roses can be yellow, but most people, I think when you think of rose and makeup, you think of pink. Um, these are pinkish, but they have a brown, like a cool undertone, almost like a mauve almost mushroom undertone, which the lipstick uh, in Intimate Rose does as well, which is why I like them. But again, it might not be the rosiness that pinkish that people are thinking. Um, I use that pale cream shade, which is not at all pink. Uh, that's definitely a neutral, leaning a slight bit warm uh, in the brow bone. And then I take the, um, what I would say is almost like that mushroom shade, put it all over the eyelid. That shade is, is my favorite shade in here because it does have that cooler mushroomy kind of tone, uh, which is kind of, for me, it would be like a great one I'm done neutral. And I would just put black eyeliner and black mascara on it. I think that would be fantastic with that bone shade. Like that would be perfect, a perfect simple daytime look for me. Then I take that deeper shade, which honestly looks like almost purple. Um, and that shade I use to really blow that shade out. And then I cut it back a little bit um, and, you know, try to um, soften it up. But that shade is actually quite deep. And like I said, it's, it's purplish, in my opinion. Um, and then I go back over with the cream shade and what I'm calling the mushroom shade on the eyelid to get that lighter look back on the eye. Because the mushroom shade in and of itself, if you put it, um, when I put it on directly like a little while ago, you notice it kind of blended into the pinkier shade. So you have to kind of go back in with that cream and put it on top of it to lighten it up. So all in all, what are my thoughts? Um, I tried to give them in the intro. I like it. <laughs> I do. I actually like it. But um, I, I think I like it for the reasons that people might not like it because it's rose teas and it's not really that rosy. It's not pinkish. I mean, yes, there's pink in there, that one shade. But when you blend it out on the eye, I get more of a cool toned, beigey, mushroomy, purple kind of thing going on. I, I mean, yes, it has a pink undertone, but it's, this is not, you know, this is not pink. Like there are ones, I'm trying to think of the shade. 
the Dior one. I think it's called Popoline, which was pink. Uh, this is not magenta. This is not pink. This is not this is not Barbie pink. This is like a cool tone. Like I said, I said it a million times now. Mushroomy, plummy, a little bit of pink and cream. So I actually really like this color story for me. I think this is the kind of pink rose that I would wear and looks good on me. Um, but it might not be what people are thinking of when they hear the name or even see the swatches um, online or the pictures online. So, you know, it depends. If you're like me and you're not really a pink person, but you like like a cool toned um, plum or gray or mushroom or a pink, that has like the pink that I put on my eye. It's not. It's not a. It's not a ballerina pink. It's like this little bit of warmth. It's almost like the shade on my lips, like the intimate rose lip uh, lipstick. Then it's gonna be for you. The formula is good. It's it's powdery. It's silky. It's not. It's not like my favorite in any way. It's not the chrome formula, but it's nice. It's nice. I got this on sale, so what I would say, guys, is if you like the color story and you like a powdery, silky formula, and you like the packaging because the packaging is cool, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'll wait for it to be on sale. Um, I think these are limited edition because of the packaging, and again, I I don't think this is like a need, and I'll have a rating up, but I don't think this is a need. I think this is a it really depends on what else you have in your collection and what's your favorite color story and do you need a whole bunch of mattes that are nice, they are, but they're not, you know, Sydney Grace has really nice mattes and I'm sure these shades are in there in some of her palettes or singles and uh, Tsuku has some beautiful mattes. Um, again, $90, four shades, it's nice, it's very pretty. I'm glad I have it because I actually will use this. Um, I was. I was thinking I was just picking it up because everybody on, you all asked me to do it. Um, so that, in that way, I'm pleased because I will actually use these shades, but um, this is definitely not gonna be a favorite. Uh, and in that vein, I want to mention, when I review, the, the reason I don't do um, ratings right away is because when I first try something or I, you know, when I'm trying something for maybe the second or third time, I'm not 100% sure about what my thoughts are. I'm usually like, oh, I kind of like it or I hate it or whatever. I want to mention the Tom Ford, this is Lumiere d'Hiver. When I did my review of this one, I said it wasn't particularly special and I, I like it, but it's not the crime formula. And those things are all true. I do want to amend that though. There's a shade in here. It's this shade. That is this gorgeous, sparkly, beautiful, platinum shade, which I think I mentioned in the review how much I liked it, but I've worn it several times by itself, just on my eye, and then I've taken this deep brown shade and blown it out on the outer corner with a very, this is a, this is a um, Seropola brush, but a very, very fluffy brush just on the outside with brown liner. I get so many compliments. I wore it the other day uh, for a brunch that, I, I mean, so many compliments. Like people have asked me, what is that? I want to buy it. So, <laughs> I'm not saying it's worth $90 to you. I'm just saying that this shade in particular is getting me a lot of compliments and everyone really loves it. And all I do is, like I said, blow it out a little on the edge with this one, uh, the brown, and then brown eyeliner and mascara. The same is true for this one. I do the same kind of thing. It's just a little bit deeper. Um, it's, not as, it's not as light. It's got more of a it's got a, a you know a heavier uh, look to it. Same idea though. I use that brown on the outside, and then every once in a while I use the cream if I need something for brow. But though this palette has gotten me more compliments than practically any other palette that I've used in a while, I'm just I'm just, <laughs> just letting you know. So and I have grown to really like it. That's why I've worn it because. It's really easy because it's just kind of shimmery, but it's not too much and it's not too opaque and it kind of goes with any outfit, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, so my initial my initial review was a little harsh and I like it more than I did. So I wanted to come on and, and make it, hey, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, yeah, it's actually, it actually is quite beautiful. Is it 
super unique? No, it's not. But there's something about it when it's on the eye that really is um, elegant and uh, catches people's eye. So, and it, it does look really nice. Like it, it, it didn't settle weird. It, it just looked really pretty and really elegant, but very easy to do. So that's kind of what we're all looking for. And so I wanted to come on and make, make my amendment. <laughs> So there you go. Um, but anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on rose teas. I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, the Vare, any of the Tom Ford quads, any of the uh, stuff that's been coming out lately. It's all coming fast and furious. I'll have more videos on, on other products soon. Um, perfume, holiday gift list, all that. The Sephora sales coming. <sighs> so much all. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Thank you.